All right, everybody, welcome to our team call. We are super excited to see you guys on here. Jordan and I had an amazing time at Summit, and we are thrilled to share about that with you. Obviously, you know, it was two days of like crazy, packed, amazing stuff. So can't really um, funnel that all into one hour. So we wanted to um, talk basically today about events, importance of getting to events, and then also one um, thing that we felt was really, really helpful. We're going to focus on that today. And basically, it's about how to effectively help our challengers get results, which is really what this is all about. And we heard from two coaches that had just incredible tips and insights and nuggets on to really how to help somebody go from, you know, a challenge pack purchase to really wanting to get started all the way to the end. Because I know we've had so many people, you know, who they come in and they have these great goals and these great reasons to be doing this. And then, you know, they rock it for a week and then it's like they go with the witness protection program, you know? <laughs> and you're like, what? We're like, hello? McFly, McFly, you said you want to lose 30 pounds. What, what happened? Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, and, and I know, you know, we're not here to just sell people a program and then not have them use it. Like we want to help them go, you know, all the way through and to get results and to keep going and make that into a lifestyle. And I know Jordan and I had really been, you know, masterminding a lot before Summit of like, what is going on and how can we help these people? Because that's ultimately what we want to do, right? And these two guys, two ladies had some really awesome insights that we were just like scribbling notes frantically and like, oh my God, we have to do that. Oh my gosh, that's genius. Oh my gosh, why didn't we think of that before? So we're really excited to share that with you. And then before that, we really just want to talk about events. So the importance of getting to events. Um, we have Super Saturday coming up on Saturday. And um, it might be Saturday for you or it might be Sunday, depending on where you are. But I know Jordan and I have both posted the links for Super Saturday in our team pages so you can find one that's close to us. And Jordan, do you want to hop in and talk a little bit or do you want me to um, about events? Keep rolling? Yeah, I mean, events really are amazing. I mean, that's like such a space to have huge aha moments, you know, because we all work, you know, generally we're alone and behind our computers and we're chatting with people and sometimes we're on the phone and we do the zooms and whatever. But you know, when you go face to face to these events, they're just amazing. You know, you meet sometimes depending on what your team looks like, sometimes you meet people that you've never met before, you know, like at a super Saturday. And then I know for me, like I've gone to, um, you know, a bunch of super Saturdays in the area and I always meet really amazing coaches. You know, I make new friends. Like I met one woman early on and we became good friends and, you know, she needed some help like outside of Beachbody with some job hunting. And so I like made some referrals for her. And then I met this other guy just recently and he and his wife worked together and Jennifer and her husband were wanted to start doing some business stuff together. So I reached out to him and was like, Hey, would you, you know, chat with my coach about how you work with your spouse? You know, I met this other woman, um, I had a different super Saturday and gave her a bunch of resources. And then she joined our 10 day energy challenge and ran into her at the airport on the way to summit. So it's just like, you know, we have these, you know, that touch point of a human interaction is just not something that you can recreate through online, you know, and it's like, it's wonderful to live in this online space and it creates this amazing community. But when you actually meet people face to face, it's just such a game changer. And then I would say, I mean, I've, I've been a coach for almost three years now and I've gone to so many events myself and listened to like a bazillion calls and videos and whatever, like it's what I do in my free time. Um, and I can't even tell you how many coaches say that they had an aha moment at an event. Like that's where the magic happens. When you're sitting alone watching a YouTube video, doing seven other things at the same time and your kids are like, mom, make me dinner you know, it's like stuff doesn't penetrate that deeply. But when you're in these events, even if it's like a super Saturday for an hour or two, and you're just like deeply engrossed and focused, it just, it sinks in. And you see these people that are inspiring. And then just in terms of choosing a super Saturday, you know, there's, there's tons. And I've been to ones that are like in people's living rooms, all the way to ones like down in Orange County, where like a lot of people from corporate go, and they have contests and they have, you know, amazing speakers. And I think it's like 10 or 20 bucks to go to that one. 
So if you're given an option, if there's one that costs a little bit of money and it's, you know, that one or a free one, go to the one where you have to pay a little bit of money because you're going to get such great value for that expense. Um, and if there's not one, then do a free one. And if there's not one near you, then I, I mean, I don't know, it might be too late to sign up now, but for the next quarter, you can host yourself. Like you can have one, you know, Beachbody send you like a little kit with the information to share and they give you an outline of what to do. And you can host your own if there's not one nearby. So it's really about taking initiative one way or the other. And, you know, if you're struggling in this business, you're going to take away so many nuggets that are going to help you. And it's, and then especially like if you've never been to Summit, if you've never been to an event, if you haven't been to conferences, like, you know, we talk a lot about vision and, you know, we, we have these visions, but it's easy to kind of get in your own head of like, well, what's my vision? What's my vision? What's my vision? When you go to these events and you meet other people that are doing the same thing that you are, you realize just how huge this vision truly is. You're like, oh my God, like I'm not selling people challenge packs. Like we really are changing people's lives. And it's not just like I lost 20 pounds. It's like these people, you know, they get off medication or they're dying and now they're not, or they're able to now run around with their children. They're, they have self-confidence. They pay off debt. They get off drugs. Like it just it's amazing what these tools can really do. And when you see that firsthand in person, it just, it resonates and it really like lodges deep in your psyche to be like, wow, like now I'm on a visceral level, how impactful this is and what I'm really doing. You know, like we, it's so easy to get frustrated when you're messaging people and you're like, dude, I, you said you want to buy a challenge bag. Like what's wrong with you? Why are you not jumping on board? Or like, why are you, why'd you ignore me? And I wrote you three times and I'm not trying to stalk you. I'm just trying to help you. It's easy to get caught up in those frustrations of those day-to-day -day annoyances. But when you really understand not only your own vision, but when you understand the vision of the company and just the scope of what is possible and the potential to change your own life, and then really just what you're doing as a coach, how impactful that is for someone else. I mean, it just, it really just changes everything. It's like all those things that annoy you and get you frustrated. You're just like, okay, whatever. It's just the nature of the beast. Like, no worries. Like I understand the scope of this and that's just whatever. So I got an annoying message or so-and-so like flaked out on me. No big deal. Like it's fine. So that's, that's really the takeaway of the events. And that's where they're so, I mean, that's why it's like, you have to get to Tony. Like, Bring your entire family and put them in the back if you have to. Like, it is going to be amazing, you know, and beyond Super Saturday Summit, like anything that our team puts together, anything that Jesse puts on, any, like if there's any speakers that you're attracted to, go to those events. I mean, I'm like a conference junkie. It's ridiculous. I can go back, like I would say at least half my beach buying income goes to going to conferences, you know, plug into all of these live experiences. Like I met. I went to a Danny Johnson conference right when I first started coaching and I met David Ingram, who's like a 15 star diamond. And like, I've reached out to him a couple of times and be like, what up, David, I have a question for you. And because I have that personal relationship, he is willing to talk to me. And I met Chelsea Pearson, who's amazing, such a girl crush. I'm going to reach out to her and be like, what up, Chelsea? Like, I'm Jordan. Now we're BFFs and I'm going to talk to you all the time. And one day you're going to speak on, hopefully speak on one of our team calls. So it's like, you make these connections with people that are just, you can't, you know, social media is amazing, but it's not a replacement for face-to-face -face contact. So that's, that's my two cents on events. I absolutely agree with everything Jordan said. And, and for me to like really just sum up getting to events, it's, I see them as placing yourself in the, in the place of highest potential. Mm -hmm. And it's really, you don't know, like she said, you don't know what nuggets you're going to, you're going to take away or who you're going to meet, but when you have this opportunity to grow yourself emotionally and as a leader, you take it, you know, like if you're serious about growing yourself and growing your team and your business, and there's this opportunity to like expedite that process, you go. And, you know, I know for me, um, in the beginning, like we started this, I had zero extra money, you know, we were like, paycheck to paycheck behind. Um, but we had these events and I just knew like, I've got to get there. And when you put that out there for yourself as a must, not as I want to, or I hope to, or maybe I will, or I'm going to try. When you put that out there, you put that intention out there. This is a must. I will get there. 
somehow it works. Like every single time you find a way, you know, like I know I'd only been a coach for about three months and my coach Jesse had this leadership retreat that she was hosting and I had to qualify for to get there. And I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how I was going to get myself there, but I just was like, Jesse, I'm doing it. You know, like, I don't care if I have to pitch a tent and sleep in the, <laughs> in the yard and eat like, you know, I don't know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for three days. You know, like I will get there. And like Jordan said, at each and every event, I either met somebody or took something away that helped me take myself and my business to like the next level and then the next level and then the next. And you just continue to grow and to grow and to grow. Because one thing they said at Summit, I think it was Carl maybe, basically like your business will never grow beyond your personal growth. So if you stay where you are right now, your business is going to stay where it is. So if you want to take it to the next level and keep going up, you have to always be growing yourself. And these events really just like are amazing. So got to get to events. Um, and what we have coming up for you as far as events is Super Saturday this weekend. And then like Jordan said, we have the Tony Robbins team training in September in Portland, Oregon, which is like amazing. Got to go. Okay. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. All right. So we've touched on events and then I feel like there was, oh, we want to talk a little bit about the new programs that were announced that are being released so we can just sort of make sure everybody's aware of them. I know they'll, they'll talk about them again at Super Saturday, but just really quick, um, the first one coming up is September, right? That's the three-day or three-week yoga retreat is what it's called. Yeah. Well, first, I think next week or the week after is Fixate, is the, oh, the TV right. show. So, yeah. So, I think, it's, I think it's in a couple weeks or maybe it's the eighth. I'd have to double check. Um, Fixate is coming out and this is amazing. So like basically the, my takeaway was like the majority of the new products were all beach, beach body on demand, uh, related. And, um, that's for a few reasons. One, I think that when they launched it, it was sort of like the network kind of thought it was an afterthought. They're like, Oh yeah, whatever you get 30 days free and you can cancel it. And so like from a business perspective for Beachbody, they're like, wow, we launched this amazing tool and it's not really taking out how we want. So there's a reason that like 90% of the new products are all to really beef up Beachbody on demand. Because the other thing too is like, I'm not a numbers person, but I watched this video that Amy Silverman did about like, if you actually get people started with Beachbody on demand and nothing else, and they stay on Beachbody on demand and do the club account and like just have that residual income that, you know, she calculated you can make $800 in three months if you have like 50 people do that. <clears throat> and it's like, how hard is it to do Beachbody on demand? I mean, the and she's like, if somebody's not willing to pay two ninety nine a week to do Beachbody on demand, she's like, eh, I don't know if there's much help for them. So, you know, so it's just something to consider. So anyway, so they really like beefed up Beachbody on demand because it is such an amazing portal. So they have the fixate is coming out, um, and that's basically it's a cooking show with Autumn and her brother, and I think her son like comes in and does cameos so they can show that it's kid approved. They're gonna have different recipes every week and then depending on the popularity they'll increase the content and the thing that's really amazing is that's new recipes for us and then for those of you that were in on the meal garden call we can take those recipes and put them into meal garden and then we can put them into our weekly meal plan so that just grows it even more and then um what else do they have so that's so that's what's coming out next and if you want to talk about the yoga yeah. So then there's another amazing amazing program coming out that is again only available through Beachbody On Demand, and it's actually free with your membership, so you don't have to pay anything extra for this. And they're calling it the three-week yoga retreat. And basically what this is, is a yoga program that anybody can do, and it makes yoga accessible to everyone, everybody. So Beachbody did a lot of research, and they found that a ton of people really want to try yoga, but either they're you know, intimidated to go to their first yoga class, like, I mean, you know what that feels like, right? You're like, I'm going to go in there and everybody's going to be like in crow pose upside down, hanging from the ceiling. And you're like, uh, you know, so some people are intimidated by that or they're sort of turned off by the whole, you know, incense and, and Buddha vibe, you know, but, but they want to try yoga. Um, so they came out with this three week yoga retreat 
And it's going to be, like I said, for all levels, it's going to be only on Beachbody On Demand. And it's going to give them basically the foundation that they need and the confidence they need so they can then go to a yoga class if they want to, or they can continue using it on demand. So they got some amazing yoga instructor, instructors to do it. They made it um, very, I would say, what would I say? How would I describe this? Made it really easy to follow. So have you ever done some like yoga programs that are online and you're like in down to a dog and they're telling you what to do and you're like, I can't see you, but I, I don't know what to do. So they actually um, put somebody behind a wall and like gave them the cue. So they made sure that it's super easy to follow. Um, and it's just going to be a really fun program and it's free. So Jordan and I are going to be running a free group based on that. So this is an awesome way to bring in a lot of people. They can try Beachbody On Demand for 30 days for free. They can do the full yoga retreat. We're thinking we'll probably come up with some kind of vegetarian or vegan meal plan to go along with that. And this is just an amazing, amazing opportunity to help a lot of people completely for free. So especially for new coaches, I know they can sometimes be a bit intimidated about on asking people to pay for something. Um, so this is just an awesome way to open it up to your friends. Be like, hey, let's have like a virtual yoga retreat. We're going to get like flexible and strong and try yoga and eat really well for three weeks and it's all for free. So this is an awesome, awesome thing yeah. that's coming out in September. And then the last one. And then there's the the, tw the twenties, right? Oh yeah. Then there's the twenties, yeah. which is Beachbody's reality program on trying to, or on finding the next like super trainer. So they're taking 20 trainers, like up and coming trainers all in their twenties. And it's like a reality show on finding the new Beachbody trainer. So it's going to be like the new autumn and it's in this huge house. It's like any kind of other reality show, you know, where, they're following them and we get to vote on who we think should be the next trainer. They're going to do all sorts of challenges. So this is just a really fun, like entertainment value aspect of Beachbody on Demand that we can really talk about, especially, oh, sorry. Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. All of my daughters were calling somebody. Um, so this is just a great way to add a fun, element to Beachbody On Demand. And we can talk about this in our challenge groups, like, hey, what did you think of the last episode? And who are you going to pick? And I, there's a lot of, a, kind of a big theme in Beachbody right now of trying to make this fun for people, you know, with the release of Country Heat and now this um, program. And then the very last- well, The other thing too, oh, go ahead. Well, the other thing too is, so like as part of the TV show, each of the trainers has to come up with a 20 minute program. So they're actually gonna take each of those programs and they're gonna release those on Beachbody On Demand. So there'll be another series of workouts that are 20 minute workouts created by these contestants that, you know, you could even do a free group and like, you know, if you wanna target millennials or, um, from, oh, okay, can people not hear us? Um, can tar target millennials or just like have a 20 minute uh, fitness program. So that's like a fun thing to have as well. And I'm kind of like a nerd and excited to watch the show. <laughs> Me too. Totally. Okay. Um, the very last one is a new program coming out and that is going to be in October and it's called Core to Force. And it's I think it comes out in November. November? I th oh, that's yeah. right. I think it's early November. Okay. Yeah early November, and it is a kickboxing program, which looks totally, totally amazing. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Les Mills Pump, but Beachbody used to have a like partnership with them, and then they went sort of went their separate ways, and so now this is their new program that they're coming out for, for that. And it has um, two of our trainers that were just doing Beachbody On Demand programs, and now that they've, they've created this. So it's also totally awesome, and I'm sure we'll be getting a lot more information on that one as it gets closer to the release date. Okay. Exactly, and that's also something really fun to look forward to for the holidays, mm -hmm. you know, because like come November, everyone's like, oh, I'm going to just start eating my way through till the end of the year. So it's a great <laughs> way to, like an incentive to be like, hey, don't fall off the wagon, like join this test group. It's going to be awesome. We'll keep you on track. So when you start the new year, you're not like 10 pounds heavier and even more frustrated with your weight and we're fun. 
So just something to keep in mind. So like as you're talking to people and you're asking them like what kind of workouts they like to do, if they're like, oh, I'm not into country music or I'm not into dancing, instead of being like, okay, peace out, you're not interested in country heat, be like, well, workouts do you like because if they're more interested in like cardio or kickboxing you could be like okay cool well you know no worries this doesn't work out for you but I have another test group coming up in the fall you know would you like me to put you on the list for first dibs so like play it up so just like have some future strategy in mind that when you're talking to people like I had a woman that was like I'm not down with country I like cardio and I like kickboxing and I was like noted and I like made a little note to put her into my list of people to, to talk to when that comes out so just like you know some strategy things for later down the road um that are helpful because you know country heat's huge and then there'll be a whole different market for the um the tour de force, court of force, and then also like, you know, talking to old customers. And then the other thing that, you know, we've been talking about a lot on our team page is the health bet. Um, Beachbody, I was listening to Carl's call this morning and Beachbody has pledged um, what, so they've already like put $1 million into the health bet pot. And then for every challenge pack sold in August, $5 of that is going to go into the pot up to $3 million. And then everybody that participates in a challenge group from September 5th through like October, whatever, first, fourth, fifth, sixth, I'd have to look at a calendar, four weeks out, everyone who participates and they um, log in five Shakeologies and three workouts minimum consistently for four weeks is eligible for, is eligible to be part of the, like divvying up the pot. So that's really amazing. And I wouldn't necessarily like go on social media and be like, what up? You want to win some money? Like, I don't know if you want to necessarily go that route, but you know, you can talk about like, Oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm excited to participate in the health bet. Like, you know, Beachbody's putting up a bunch of money and we're all going to split like up to a $3 million pot. Like you can do it more like I'm excited to participate in this versus like, what up? You want to win some money? And then I would also use it. Yeah. Like, Hey, you want to buy a challenge bag and win a million dollars? Like mildly false advertising. So I would, and then I would like really play it up in the back end, you know, cause like people are going to have excuses like school starting or the kids are going back to school or we're going on a trip or whatever. And you can be, that's, that's nice. <laughs> and you could be like, you know, well, this is like an extra added bonus of you can participate and you're going to win. I mean, they were like $10 to $50. Who knows? Depends on how many people participate, but you know, winning $10 is awesome. Winning 50 bucks is awesome. So I would use that more as like, as you're having the conversation with people um, and they're expressing interest, then you can be like, and guess what? There's this extra added fun element as well. And that, that, you know, and that like, if they're kind of on the fence, that might be a tipping point for them to participate. Um, and then I would also reach out to old challengers that have like maybe fallen off the wagon and be like, Hey, do you want to like re-engage with either the program that you have or do country heat with us or pick a new program and participate in this health bet? So, you know, I would just cover it from all angles. Cause I mean, it's just, it's super fun and exciting and it's just, it's another way to motivate, you know, like they have all these apps where people do this similar thing and obviously they're modeling a successful, you know, um, business model. So, or they wouldn't be doing it. So it works. So I would definitely, you know, use like share that as much as possible in your behind the scenes messages. And like, if there's people that you've talked to that have price objections, go back and hit them up and be like, Hey, I know that for whatever reason you didn't can afford it or didn't want to do it or whatever. Um, but you have a chance to like, you know, get into this pot of money and do your workout. Like, would you be, would you be interested in hearing more? So that's like a way you can kind of go in. So there's just so many ways in with the health bet because like immediately like the fixate, if you're having anyone doing the fix and also for country heat, I would definitely share like, this is why you want to keep on with, because you're learning how to do the fixed portion control. And this is why you want to stay on with Beachbody On Demand because you're going to get this content. You're going to have these shows and these recipes. And that's going to help you really make this a lifestyle. And then, um, and then if you're interested in doing the yoga, you know, I would say, you know, maybe that's like something you want to do yourself when you're done with Country Heat or whatever program you're doing. And, you know, pitch that as a free group for people because it's really, it's a great way to build relationships that add value. So those are kind of, and then, so that's like September, right? I think that starts September 5th, the yoga mm -hmm. and then the health bet. So that's kind of like immediate focus of stuff. And then, you know, later on down the road, we'll talk about like how to launch, um, tour de force, court of force and all that stuff. But 
for immediate, like share about fixate, share about the health bet and share about the yoga retreat for a free group. So that's, um, that's sort of like immediate focus and strategy stuff for you guys. Absolutely. And I want to make sure that everybody listened to this um, yesterday's national wake up call with our CEO, Carl, because one, it was, I mean, he's always amazing and his energy and passion for what we do is just incredible. Um, But then I also thought within the call, he had amazing tips on how to overcome objections. So right now, like Jordan said, you know, (laughs) like Jordan said, a lot of (laughs) this is from Nashville. All right. A lot of people are going to give you objections right now because it's August. People are on vacations. They're getting ready to send their kids back to school and they might say not now, but he had some amazing ways on how to come back from those objections and really keep the conversation going. And I, just, I, uh, I, I made the scripts. I, I transcribed what he said, so I'll post them in the team. Oh, Jordan is so fabulous at that. I love it. He's so awesome. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And my really big, like the biggest, like I feel key piece to that was keep the conversation going. Mm-hmm. And that was awesome because how many times do people give you an objection and you're like, okay, cool. Bye. You know, like you don't really know what to say, but he had amazing ways to come back and really just keep that conversation going. So definitely, definitely listen to that wake up call. And Jordan, who's fabulous about taking notes, will share her notes with us so we can get exactly what he said, which was awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, another note on objections is like our coach, Jesse, she's amazing. And she, like, she said to me that she just like flat out asked people why would they object to something. And I started doing that sometimes. And sometimes people don't respond to me and that's fine. But I had one woman, I invited her a few times and she wasn't, she always said no. And I was like, why she's told me that she wants to get fitter like what's her objection so i flat out asked her i was like well if you don't mind my asking like what's what's your objection to joining the group or what's your hesitation to joining the group and she just flat out was like i'm naturally thin and i can eat whatever i want and i don't have to work out and one day when i have to worry about it i'll worry about it for now like i'm a model and i can have doritos and not work out and it's fine and i was like okay, cool. I was like, I can't really combat that. And more power to you. You're blessed. I never had that. But now I understand why it's not for you. And I'll just leave it for now. You know, and I had some other people talk about like, they had like all these family obligations going on. So it's like, you know, it's so easy when somebody says no to be like, "Ah, I'm I'm freaking out. Like I'm scared. But if you realize, like, if you come from a place of confidence and power and be like, no, I'm legitimately trying to help you. I'm I want to know, like, why, why does, why are you not into it? Or why does it not work for you? And you can even phrase it. Like, I'm always trying to like better share or better improve what I'm doing. You know, what, what about it doesn't appeal to you? You know, I had one woman tell me she didn't want to be part of a test group. And I was like, all right. So when you gather that information, it's just helpful to be aware of like how other people perceive what we're doing and just better ways to share. And then also for that person specifically, maybe you know, there's a better program for them, or maybe they prefer to work with you one-on-one, or I don't know, there's like a bazillion reasons why they might not in- be interested, but just taking that little bit of extra initiative to ask some more questions. One, it gives you closure that you're not like, oh my God, I'm like some creeper that asked her to join my fitness group. And then number two, like you can dig further and find out, well, maybe there's a different way that I can help them. And there's something, something that might be a better fit for them. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and jump into the meat of our call now, after we've gotten past all that stuff, and really talk about getting challengers results. Because, uh, hold on one sec. Do you want to start, Jordan? <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, so we, um, who was it? It was Allie Upham and, who was the other woman? It was Allie Upham and, I can't remember who the other person was. Was it Chelsea Pearson? I think it was Chelsea Pearson. They spoke about how to get challengers results. And, you know, the thing that is so key is setting expectations. And I know, like, I've struggled with it it in the past of sometimes you feel, like, scared or guilty that you're, like, being more of, you know, like, tough love person. Like, you have to plug in and whatever. But if in the front end, you know, like, our coach, Jesse, she'll make a video at the beginning of the group and just be like, look. We're all here to support each other and, you know, comment and share our journey. And if you're not going to do that, then I'm going to pull you out of the group. 
can help you one-on-one. -on -one. Because ultimately, like, think about it. When, you, when you're out there being vulnerable and you're sharing with people and then, like, no one else is, you're like, uh, hello, crickets. Like, I just, like, slip my vein and put myself out there. Like, could you, like, anyone, anyone compadre? So, you know, I think in the front end, when you're having the conversations with people, just be like, look, you know, it, and you can wait till after they order the challenge pack or like right when you're kind of getting down to sharing about the challenge pack, whatever, feel out. Like I, I mix and match and try different ways to see what works best. So play around with it. But, you know, share, just be like, look, it's part, like I'm picky about who gets in my group. It's really about being accountable and sharing your journey every day. And the health that's going to really help with that already because it's kind of like already like, hey, you're going to get money if you do this. So so that's really key um, with the setting of the expectations. And then like Ali Upham said that she like flat out kicks people out of the group if they don't participate. <laughs> like she's just like, if you're not in it, like you're out. And she said that what she does, like she follows up with people. So she's like super on top of who's engaging, you know, with, with the, um, the tracker and I guess Facebook. So she sees who's in there and who's posting. And if somebody hasn't posted or shared that day or logged their workout, then she follows up with them and is like, hey, I didn't see you in the group. What happened? How'd your day go? Whatever. And then if the next day they don't respond, she says that she follows up with a different form of communication, whether it's a, you know, if it's a text, an email, a Facebook message, Instagram, whatever. Whatever you chose, pick a different route. And just be like, hey, I don't know if you got my message. Just, you know, I didn't see you active. Like, you know, is, tell me what's going on. Is there something you're struggling with or something like that? And then if they still ignore you, then she'll follow up like a day or two later and just be like, Hey, you know, for, sorry that we haven't been able to reach each other. Or, you know, I understand if now is the, not the right time for you. Uh, whenever you feel ready, I'm here to help you. And so she, it's, so it gives her that like closure of like bless and release of like, for whatever reason, they're not ready right now. So I don't have to have that in my brain of constantly like, where is she? What's going on? But I've left the door open so that you know, if, if there's a personal struggle they're going through, or there's like a timing issue or family stuff going on or whatever it is that she's left the door open, that then they can come back and be like, Hey, craziness of X, Y, and Z was going down, but now I'm ready. Like, I'd love to get your help. So that was really great. And I know that for myself personally, I like, I need to be really good about like every day checking in who's done what and like have accessible, like what is their email? What is their cell phone? So I can stay on top of that. Cause I definitely will admit I've not been like, I check in with people weekly, sometimes twice a week, but not like on top of them, <laughs> like white on rice. It's definitely not been, um, I have room for improvement there. So, um, that's, that was super helpful. And I'm trying to think what else they said. Oh, the other thing that was really great is, you know, they really hammered home you know, we're in a business of helping people. <laughs> like we're not here to sell challenge packs. If somebody buys a challenge pack, like okay, great. You made some commission. That's cool. But like the satisfaction is really in empowering them and supporting them and helping them work through these walls and just, you know, coming through on the other side. And, you know, she said that this one coach on her team made this um, vow that she was going to have, like over the years, she was going to have, I think she was going to help 50 women lose weight. And so she, you know, went through and she, um, she reached the school and she'd helped all these ma amazing people lose all this weight. And she had us commit, like how many people are you going to help really transform their lives over the next year between this summit and next summit? And we all had to write it down. And, you know, I was like, I'll help 20 people. And now I'm like, wow, that's not a lot of people, <laughs> but I made the commitment. So I'm going to put it out there. And I've been sharing that with some of my challengers, um, that are starting country heat or that are in current groups. And I'm like, look, I made this commitment. Um, to really check in and hold you accountable, like sort of beyond what the challenge groups offers, you know, but I need to make, what are my rules? Like I need, I can't chase people down. I got too many things going on. Like you need to send your stats every week, you know, whether you gain, win or lose, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to keep track. And then, you know, send me your weights, send me your pictures every 30 days, like set up some boundaries for what the relationship is going to be like for that check-in. And you know, ultimately, like whether they're a coach or a cus customer, you know, we all know that long term, you know, doing a challenge group day in, you know, sticking on one challenge group to the next is going to help them have that structure and drinking Shakeology every day and sticking to the meal plan. So, you know, inherently becoming a coach would work for that, you know, that relationship because if they're going to do this for 
you know, I, I've been on, in my transformation for three years and I still, I'm like, there's the finish line is still like down there, you know? So having that like longevity and then being plugged into that support. So that's, you know, that's a way to approach people be like, look, you know, I really want to help you reach this transformation. You've got, you know, you're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. You know, we all have challenges. We all have things that life throws at us. Sometimes we reach plateaus, but you know, ultimately you have that outcome in mind and I want to help you get there. And I want to work closely with you and hold you accountable. You know, I want, I'm going to pick, you know, I have so five slots or 10 slots or 20 slots or 30 slots, whatever it is that you feel comfortable that you can really focus on. Just be like, I have, let's just say five people that I'm going to work with over the next six months to really help them hit their goals. And, you know, these are, this is what the relationship will look like. And, you know, and just kind of, if that seems like there's something they're interested in and they enjoy drinking Shakeology and they're getting benefits, you can be like, look, you know, I would, I would, I invite you to consider becoming a coach because we're going to be in this relationship together. You're going to be doing these programs back to back. You're going to be drinking Shakeology. You're going to save money. You're going to have my support one-on-one, but also you're going to be plugged into this community. And you know, that's amazing. You go to the gym and you're like, Oh, look at all the people. Hi, bye. You know, there's not another community that I've ever experienced. That's like this. Like I was talking to a woman, I ran into a woman at the airport randomly. And just was like chatting with her about the 21 day fix and country heat. And I was like, wow, summit's amazing. Cause I would have been nervous to do this like six months ago. And, you know, we were just talking about it and sharing and, you know, talking about holding her accountable. And, you know, it's just, it, when you realize that like, that's the true mission, it's not like, as we say, it's not about sales, you know, like we're not selling candles. <laughs> we're selling transformation and like a better life and health, being healthy and fit and having that freedom that's, that's, that's what Beachbody has to offer. And I know that it's done that for me. And I know that it's done that for Alicia. And, you know, sometimes it takes a lot of, of instilling belief on our part as the coach into someone else to really believe that that's possible. You know, I still need it. Like I have a life coach. I have Jesse. I have a therapist. I'm like, help, <laughs> keep me on track. So, um, so that's, you know, I think if you really focus on what is our mission and what is that outcome that we want to create, and then you know, put that out there with your clients and customers. And then you can even reach back out to people that went MIA and, or like fell off the wagon or stalled and just be like, Hey, you know, I've made this commitment to myself and my team, um, to, you know, focus on X amount of people to really work closely with them, to help them reach their goals. Would you, or would you be interested in being one of those people? And if they are, then be like, ask some more questions. Say, is this something you really want to commit to? And if so, like, let's, this is how it's going to work. And you figure that out. You're going to do weekly phone calls. You want them to email you, whatever's going to work best for you in your schedule. Um, but then, you know, have that like set it up, you know, that's, it's, it's more of a, like a one, on that's like really one-on-one versus like a weekly check-in and then like plugging them into a group. So, you know, it's just kind of a way to kind of take it to the next level because ultimately, you know, transformation stories, if you're sharing the, like on Facebook, like I got this message from someone or so-and-so just lost five pounds in one week or so, you know, I just worked with this woman. She's lost 20 pounds. If you're sharing like beyond just like Beachbody's awesome, look at the success Beachbody has, but you're like, look, myself as a coach, th- these are the results that I produce when you work with me. This is why you want to join my challenge group. This is why you want to order a challenge pack and work with me beyond all the other coaches out there. So beyond branding, you know, really focusing on transforming people's lives and helping them get those results. That's going to make you even more appealing as a coach to show like, put your money where your mouth is. Like, look, this is what I can offer you for real. So I, you know, if that, for whatever that's worth, I hope that helps. Yeah. I wanted to share a quote that they um, shared with us that I feel is going to just kind of jump or tag onto what Jordan just said. And it said, everybody wants loyalty, consistency, and somebody who won't quit. But everybody forgets that to get that person, you have to be that person. So in addition to helping people get motivated, get results, it starts with you, right? Because your challengers or your coaches on your team are only going to do what you do. And honestly, most of the time, they're only going to do about half of what you do. So you really also need to look at yourself and say, am I, am I following the the nutrition plan? Am I doing my workouts every day? Am I drinking my Shakeology every day? Am I sharing about it? 
am I being consistent? Because when you come from that place of honesty, it's going to help empower your challengers and your coaches to do the same thing. So really make sure that you are also doing what you are asking them to do. And I think Jordan did an awesome, awesome job of summing everything up. So just sort of make, I guess to sum up what she said, is make sure that you're setting expectations on the forefront. You know, you're, you're telling them that you expect them to engage in the group because that's going to help them. You are going to hold them accountable. I know what Jordan and I do is we actually have a questionnaire that we send out to our challengers before the group even starts. And we found that has been really effective in helping people first get really vulnerable with you because for some reason there's something about filling out a questionnaire that is almost like it's not personal in a way as it, as it is when they're messaging you. So they'll actually get a lot more deep into their real why and to really why they're doing this in this questionnaire format than they will in a direct message to you. So that's something we have found is really, really helpful and telling them, you know, we expect you to engage in our, in our group, in our group, our group, we expect to be supportive. And then we're also going to add in there a question, can I hold you accountable? Or do I have your permission to hold you accountable? And we know everybody's going to say yes, right? But that's just another layer of setting an expectation in, in the beginning that you are going to hold them accountable, you know? And, and then when they share it, it's basically you only have a very small window of when people start to fall off to follow up with them. Because if it goes like a week and you haven't heard from this person, it's going to be so much harder to get them going, to get them back in, than say it's only been 24 hours, right? And you get that conversation going again and you find out what happened. You know, did they have a bad day and now they're feeling really down on themselves and like they totally failed everything. And you can help them turn that around and get them back going. You can, you know, recommend some personal development, or you can share your own experience. Um, I don't know where you put them. Oh, sorry, one sec. Um, out there. Sorry. Um, so the sooner that you can realize that somebody has fallen off and help them, the better you're going to be able to keep them going. Has that ever happened to you, right? You know, like you've been doing great for a week, and then you have a bad day and you fall off and you're like, oh, this is awful. And then the next day it's harder to get back on. And then the day after that it's even harder. And then it's been a couple days later and you're like, oh, screw it. It's a horrible week. I'll wait till Monday, you know, to restart. And then Monday comes and you're like, eh, don't really feel it. Maybe I'll wait till next Monday. And then that becomes a month or two months. You know, this used to be me before I was a coach. I would do this all the time. So if you can catch people when it's only been a day or two days and help them get refocused and back on track, your um, likelihood of doing that and helping them keep going is, is way, way, way higher. So like Jordan said, what we're really here for as, as coaches is to help people get results. You know, we don't want them to just buy a challenge pack and disappear. That's not what it's about. We want to help them get results. And by doing that, you know, we're helping them stay accountable. We're helping them keep motivated. We're setting the expectations. We're asking them to send us their stats, right? I mean, how much more motivated are you going to be if you've sent your coach your before picture and your weight, and then next week you know you've got to send it again? I mean, I know I would be busting my butt like, even more. I'd be like, oh, man, I, I better have some good results to send this chick, you know? So really just setting those expectations up front. And then so, so many coaches on our team and other teams come from challenge groups. So for me, um, I've brought a ton of my coaches in from challenge groups because when you help people have that amazing transformation, it's so natural for them to want to coach because you take somebody who in 21 days has lost like 10, 15 pounds, they've, you know, been able to give up drinking diet soda or, you know, they've been able to lower their blood pressure medication or they just like feel good for the first time in like 10 years, you know, like it doesn't matter. They haven't even lost any weight, but they wake up and they feel good and they have energy and they have confidence. 
and they're getting stronger. And I don't know about you, but whenever I have something that has changed my life, I want to share it with everybody, right? Because you don't want to keep a gift like this to yourself. So they're naturally going to be talking about it to their friends and their family. Because, well, you know, somebody who's later and they're like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You know, like you look amazing. And they're naturally going to be behind the people. And that is an easy, easy way to then reach out to them and introduce them to coaching. So everything that we do really starts in our challenge groups and getting people results. Because when we do that, when we get people results, then we can talk to them about coaching, we can bring them on as coaches, and then they're gonna help their friends and family get results. And then they're gonna become coaches. So it really creates this ripple effect that all starts in our groups with getting people results. So does anybody, oh gosh, hold on, my math, my, I just got a notification that I'm running on battery. So um, does anybody have any questions on that? I'm gonna unmute everybody. And we will take questions, feedback, and let us know what you think. I need to get a power cord real quick, Jordan. Five one. <laughs> My phone doesn't die. Oh, I think she's somewhere. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on what we covered today? No. I think you made some great. Points. No, I'm. <laughs> What were you saying, Michelle? I was just saying, I think you made some really good points because there's been lots of times that someone bought a challenge pack maybe even from a few months ago and, and they stopped posting in the groups. And, and I, you know, it's, it's been just, you know, me posting. Um, <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I kind of fell off. Okay. But I'm not doing it as much as I should. I'll just call them on and see, like, there's a few people in particular that I just have thought of that, you know, I haven't heard from them. Yeah, and maybe so I wish I like, okay. right? So, so definitely so it's a point reaching out. Yeah, and I think that um, one thing Jordan said that I just want to make sure, hold on, she's talking, I'm going to okay. mute her really quick. Okay, one thing Jordan said is, oh gosh, I just stopped it. Oh, right. Okay, so when you're following up with people, you know, you've noticed that they've fallen off and like, it's been a day or two, and you send them a message and they don't respond and you send them a text and they don't respond and you call them and leave them a message and they don't respond. You know, then after that, what she said is leave an open door message to them, you know, leave them something that's loving and supportive and letting them know that you don't know what's going on for them, but you're here for them whenever they're ready and just leave that door open because sometimes people get embarrassed, you know, they're embarrassed that they fell off. And they don't want to let you down, you know, like they feel like they've let you down and that they're embarrassed to reach back out. So leaving that loving open door message just lets them know that you're here for them. You know, I consider somebody when somebody joins my group, like they're my, my person for life, you know, like I'm here for good. So we send these messages and then we just let them know wherever you are, I don't know what's going on for you, but when you're ready to come back, I'm here to help you. Right. Yeah. No, that's definitely a great point. Yeah. Hey, Alicia. Yes. Yeah. You, um, how about people that have been MIA for like months? Would you like go back now if they haven't responded time and time again, try to connect with them and stuff? Would you go back now this far back and just be like the same kind of thing? Like even though it's been that long? Absolutely. Yeah, I know a coach um, who pre actually created another type of questionnaire um, that she sends out to all of her challengers at the beginning of every month. And it's really sort of an open-ended, like, how are you doing? Where are you at with your health and fitness? Are you wanting to start up again? Are you wanting to try something new? And this is a really easy way for them, again, to respond in a sort of like second party tool way you know, so they can fill out this questionnaire and be like, yeah, I've really fallen off, but they don't feel like quite as guilty, you know, as if they're talking right to you. Right, right. Yeah. So I think that would be really effective. And there's a really easy way to pull all of your challengers emails 
in your online office so you can email everybody you know all at once at the beginning of each month and it's a great way to check in and then if they're ready you know they can respond fill it out and say like yeah I'd like to try a new program or I really fell off and I'd like to just get back in with one I already have yeah does anybody else have any other questions yeah, has anyone ever gotten verbally attacked <laughs> for trying to sell something and how did you handle it? Um, no, I never have. Did you experience something like that? I know people that... No, I, I'm just, I, was, I was just wondering. Some, sometimes people are pretty crabby and, uh, <laughs> and you don't get them on their good side sometimes and they don't feel like dealing with you, so... I've, I've had that happen, not necessarily attacked, but I had someone be like, I don't appreciate trying to be sold to you on Facebook and whatever. And I was like, okay. So I just called them out and was like, hey, I'm sorry if you felt that way. And my intention, like, and I just told them my mission. I was like, it's my mission to empower women to create an amazing, extraordinary life, to be disease free, debt free, and get rid of feelings of unworthiness. So I was like, didn't mean to offend you. Sorry. So I would just oh, like kill him, I, kill him I, with I, kindness. <laughs> Yeah, you know? yeah, no, I want to be mentally prepared for any for anything. So yeah, that would be, that's that's great. Yeah, I think if you have that confidence of like, I'm not here to like take your money, girlfriend. Like, I'm trying to hook you up with something <laughs> awesome. And if you're offended by it, sorry. Like, I won't bother you again. And you know, if people block you, like, don't trip. I go back sometimes, and I'm like, oh yeah, oops. Like, what? Hi, I can't respond back to that message. I was like, oh well. You know, and you'll have like a good relationship. I mean, that's why it's like, that's why in our coach basics, we're so focused on vision because when you have that, like that forward vision that is just like bigger than yourself, the small things like that, you're just like, okay. And like Shalene's always talking about like, you know, being on your train or whatever. It's like, well, you're not meant to be on my train then. Like if I, if I just like bother you for whatever <laughs> reason, then you're not part of my tribe and that's cool. You know, I want my homies like. You know, ultimately, if the goal is to go to events and hang out with your team and go on these trips, like, you know, you're hanging out with your girls. So you're looking for those people that resonate with you. And also, if somebody is like that angry that you reaching out, trying to help them, like, you know, brings about a caustic reaction, then, you know, maybe you don't really want to, like, you're like, okay, like, why don't you go and work that out and then we can talk. So you maybe just don't even want to go there just in general for your own sanity. I've had a few people where I'm like, yeah, I don't know, like if we're going to be a good match. <laughs> yeah, I think a couple of things to add there. Number one, it's, it also depends on how you start that conversation, you know? Right. If you cold message somebody like, hey, you want to buy my challenge pack? It's on sale for $140 a month. <laughs> you know, like I know I've gotten quite a few messages like that from other network marketing people. and you know, I'm not the type of person that gets like all upset about it, but it's a little bit like, it's not really cool. Like you obviously just sent me that message to get me to buy something, you know? So number one, don't do that. Get to know people first and see if what we have is even something they want or be interested in. And then number two, know that you're coming from a place of wanting to help people. You're not coming from a place of trying to sell somebody something they don't need. So and most likely it'll come off that way. Exactly. Exactly. And then also know that how people choose to react to you is a reflection of them. It's not a reflection of you. So Carl actually talked about that in the national wake up call today. So that's another great one to listen to. Um, but just uh, some more things to keep in mind if that does ever happen. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, those wake-up calls, how long are they supposed to be? They're usually about half an hour. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and if you can't catch them live, I mean, I can hardly ever listen in live at 8 a.m. on a Monday. Like, it's not the best timing for me, but they're always <laughs> on. The recording is always either in your online office or there's a Beachbody podcast, so you can just have that right on your phone and listen to the playback. Yeah, and, like, the first 10 minutes or so is all, like, rank advancements and stuff. So, 
you know, unless I know someone specifically that's getting a rank advancement, I'll usually just like fast forward through that and then get to the meat of the matter <laughs> and then, and then, and then listen. And then I'll usually have like, I use Google keep to take notes. So I'll have like a Google keep, um, window up. And like, while I'm, I usually listen to it while I'm doing require super amounts of focus at work like masking photos or whatever and I'll just I'll make little notes and like sometimes like for example today Carl gave like example scripts so I transcribed those and I just like I have like a Google Keep library of information so that's a great thing to use if you've never used Google Keep before. Cool and then does it does it what does it record things that's like if you were to save a certain part of it does it record it for you or no? Um, I don't think so, but if you ever like really wanted to get something transcribed, like if there was for whatever reason, you just like fell in love with a YouTube video or, uh, you know, a, what do you call it? Like a national wake up call. You can go to fiverr.com, which is F I V E R R.com. And you can get people to transcribe stuff for like five, 10 bucks. So if there's something you come across that you're like, I need to have all